So today we're going to be doing 10 very useful life hacks and these life hacks are, you know, um, useful. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, this life hack is if you don't have a standard flathead screwdriver, what you can do is get a plug like let's just say a charger and you know, you can use this as a flathead screwdriver and just to show you, we're going to test it out. Okay, so I have my plug here and I need a flathead to turn this or fix it or whatever. So you get this plug, you insert it just like this and then twist. This next life hack is if you're trying to measure something and you don't have a ruler with you, what you can do is grab a dollar bill. A dollar bill is actually six inches, but you're probably saying to yourself, but Michael, I need to measure something that's three inches. No problem, let me give you a bonus life hack. You fold this in half and it becomes three inches. But now you're probably saying, Michael, I need something that's an inch. Then you're on your own. This life hack is if you're trying to show a picture to a friend on your phone and you don't want them accessing your text messages or your other apps, then what you can do is go to your lock screen just like this. You're going to go to the camera, show them the picture, tell them to scroll through, maybe not all the way or not too much because you just never know. And yeah, they can't do anything else besides look at the pictures. So this life hack is to remove this top part from the strawberry. I normally just do it like this, but it kind of leaves this stem, which sucks so much because it just sucks. With this life hack, you're supposed to insert a straw so you can remove this easily with the stem. So I don't know if it's from the bottom or from the top, but we'll go from the bottom up. Oh yeah! So this life hack is very useful. I mean, I make a lot of smoothies with strawberries and I have very difficult time removing the stem and this is like perfect. Look, it just has the whole stem inside. I mean, it only makes sense, right? Straw, strawberry. I mean, that's what it's meant for. It wasn't meant for us to drink out of this. So this life hack is for print or anything you're trying to read is too small, kind of like this right here. So in order to read this print, if you couldn't read something, is take a picture of it with your phone and then just zoom in. And now you can read it. This life hack is when pistachios are very difficult to open, which I have this problem a lot too, is that you use an empty shell just like this one and you get a very difficult one that you can't open, kind of like this one, you can't open it. And so you're gonna put it inside and then turn it like a key. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I'm just very concentrating on opening this up. Okay. Oh, and it works. It works. I'm going to be doing this all day. This life hack is so useful. I'm so happy. I'm keeping this show forever because it's opening every single pistachio. <laughs> no, but it, all of them show to work, but I'm keeping this one. So this life hack is that I'm going to show you how to move the cursor on your iPhone more easily. So I have this paragraph here and I spelled iPhone incorrectly. So I know many of you to correct it, you hold down, you move the cursor and then you delete it this way, right? But sometimes it can be difficult, which sometimes I've had troubles with. So you press the space bar button, hold it down and then you can start moving it. You see how it's moving? And then you go to the letter that you need, fixed. So this life hack is if you send a text message to somebody and you really didn't mean it, there's a way to cancel it. So I'm going to show you an example. So here's an example. I'm going to send this message to my mom. Send. So what we're going to do is scroll up really quick, hit the airplane mode. Boom. So you see here how this message was sent yesterday and this message was not sent. So you're going to hold it more, delete, boom, she's never going to know. So this life hack is to soften butter quickly. So let's go get the butter. Okay, in order to soften this butter, the life hack says that you're supposed to heat a glass of water in the microwave. You're gonna empty out the water and you're gonna put the empty glass on top of this butter. So let me do that right now. Okay, so this cup is really hot. So what I did was I microwaved it for about three minutes. I dumped out the water, so it should be very hot because I can't even touch it. and place it on top. <laughs> the cup is moving. A few moments later. Hmm, the life hack did say it will soften quickly. Two hours later. 
three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Yeah, it's been a while and it's still in its same freaking shape. Oh, it's crushed now. Uh, new life hack, just do this. So this life hack is to solve a Rubik's Cube. I always have so much trouble solving one of these. I've actually never solved one before, but this life hack will show you how to solve it. So there's this website that shows you how to solve this step by step. So what you're gonna do is enter all the colors and then you're gonna click solve and then you're going to uh, solve it. So let me enter these colors and then we'll get started. Okay, so I finally entered the colors. So I have this one that matches the one right here in the front. And then if you go up, it matches the one up here. So let's hit solve. And I hope this comes out. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit solve. It's calculating the result. I really hope this works. <clears throat> okay, so let's try this out. I assume you hit play. So it says twist. Wait, 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 too fast, too fast. Okay, well done. Okay, so it says to turn it, so I'm gonna do the first one. So yeah, it matches, right? So the next one, go this way. I solved it! Look at this. It's complete. This this website really does work. I'm actually very happy. I know it's, I shouldn't be happy because it showed me how to do it step by step. But, I mean, I feel very accomplished. I mean, I feel like I can do more things in life now. I'm so glad that this worked. I mean, it's so funny because one time I did spend a lot of time um, working on something like this and I was just playing around with it as a kid. Um, this was probably in second grade as well. and. I remember I was off by a few colors, but a lot of them were already matching up, right? So I got so mad and I was just so frustrated and I didn't want to deal with it again. So what I did, I actually took off the stickers from here just to match them up so that way they can look all alike. And I felt, you know, good about myself. So yeah, I saw the Rubik's Cube. So those are the 10 life hacks that I had and I hope that they're useful to you. I mean, they're gonna put some use to my life for sure. I mean, come on, it has to put some use to my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I can go eat some of those pistachios.